Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. Today's clip is another Mavic Mini quick tip on two really important calibrations that you may have to do to your drone from time to time. The first one is called an IMU calibration, and the second is a compass calibration. Now, the good news is you normally don't have to worry about either of these, but if you power up your drone and you see an IMU error or a compass error, you're going to want to know how to finish these procedures quickly to sort out your drone and get it back up in the air. Both of these procedures are really easy to do. They take about 30 seconds to complete. You'll start both of them from inside the DJI Fly application, and once you start that procedure, a diagram will pop up to show you what position the drone has to be in to complete that step, and then the calibration is done. Now, the reason I'm doing in this clip is I've had a lot of questions about how to calibrate the compass and the IMU. If you're a new flyer, you've never done it before, or if you're somebody like me that's got a Boy Scout still inside of me that likes to be prepared for any situation, you're going to want to run through this at home before you get out in the field and have to do it when you're ready to fly for the afternoon. So I'll start off with the IMU calibration, and then I'll dive into the compass calibration outside. Now, before I get into the actual procedure, I want to talk about the IMU first, because I'm a nerd, and I like talking about nerdy stuff, but if you're watching the channel, you're probably a nerd as well. But the IMU is a circuit that's inside this drone that basically consists of a digital accelerometer and a gyroscope, and its sole purpose in life is to keep the quad flat in the air. So it's basically trying to keep it level. And you gotta remember, this guy is up in the air, the wind is buffeting it, there's pressure systems coming and going, you're flying it all over the place. So inside there is a little circuit that's saying, all right, it's a nervous circuit, it's sitting there going, all right, we're moving, we're moving, how do I keep myself level? I kind of think of it as as sort of a waiter on a really rocky boat, you know, that's walking over to a table with a, a tray of drinks on his hand, and he's trying to keep that level no matter what happens to his body. That's exactly what's happening inside the drone, sort of. So inside there's the IMU. Now, an IMU is something that's been around for an awful long time, way back in the beginning of manned flight and rockets and things like that. Everybody's concerned about keeping that plane or that particular rocket level like this, and they call it an attitude. So pilots that fly planes know what an attitude is. It doesn't mean is the drone happy or angry. What it means is, What's the relative position of that particular aircraft with the horizon? So if the horizon's flat, you don't want the aircraft flying like this because it's going to take a turn that way. You want to keep it as level as possible and as flat as possible. Now, there are three dimensions that any aircraft can turn in. So you've got the first one here, which is up and down. You've got the second one here, which is the turn. And then you've got the third one here, which is this. So this is called the pitch. This is called the roll. And this is called the yaw. The IMU only cares about the pitch and the roll. Those are the only two things it's controlling because you're controlling the yaw with the actual remote controller telling it to turn this direction. So all that little circuit does is night and day, when this thing's up in the air, just constantly make calculations based on where it is in 3D space and making sure that the wings stay level with the parallel of the horizon. So it's really important that that circuit's working properly. Now you can imagine if that falls out of calibration, you're going to have all kinds of wonky flight up in the air. And really, the IMU inside there is an incredibly sophisticated device. And when you buy less expensive drones, they don't have as good an IMU. So that's why those drones are flying all over the place. They're hard to get level. With this particular drone, they've done an amazing job, because of all the other generations of drones they've built, to build in an incredibly sophisticated IMU that will keep this thing rock solid in the sky, even when it's getting beat up by winds up to 25 miles an hour. So that's basically what the IMU is responsible for. And to calibrate that, it's really straightforward. So the first thing you'll do is open up the DJI Go Fly application. In the upper right hand corner, you'll notice three dots. Tap those. That'll bring up the main menu with a series of headings across the top. You're looking for safety. Tap that, and it brings up the safety and calibration screen. Now down the bottom, you'll notice an IMU calibration button. Tap that. Now before you hit the next button to start the procedure, there are five positions that the drone has to be in to walk through this calibration. The first one is really important because when you hit that start button, it's gonna start its calibration. So you wanna make sure you have the drone on a table as flat as possible, it's powered up, the gimbal guard is removed, and all the legs are extended. You want the drone facing to the left as well. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna use that as an initial calibration, and then all the other calibrations it does are referencing that initial calibration. So once you're set to go, hit the start button, It'll take a couple of seconds for it to make the adjustments and actually do the calibration, and then it'll move on to the next step. Now the next step, and here's where it gets confusing, is you wanna have the drone on its side with the top of the drone facing you and the drone facing to the right, because everything you see in those diagrams is relative to you. So you wanna hold it like this, a couple of seconds, the IMU's gonna do the calibration, then it's finished. The next position is gonna have it facing to the left. So again, top of the drone facing you, and drone facing to the left. It's gonna think for a couple of seconds, when it's happy, it's going to finish that calibration. The fourth position has the drone facing straight up. So again, hold it as still as possible. It'll take a couple of seconds and finish the calibration. Then the final position is right there. You're going to have it upside down with the drone facing to the right. And that's the final position. Now, once it's finished that calibration, it's going to come up and say calibration complete. 
And if you think about what it's doing, it's basically using the initial position to calculate 90 degrees this way, 90 degrees this way, 90 degrees this way, and 180 degrees this way. So it's really basically lining up all the cardinal points of how far it can turn this direction, how far it can turn this direction, so it knows exactly what the center point is. And it's a really clever thing to do, and it's really easy to complete. So once you finish that calibration, you'll be sure that the drone knows exactly what level flight looks like based on all of those calculations. Now stay tuned, and I'll take you outside and show you how to do the compass calibration next. Calibrating the compass on your Mavic Mini is a simple two-step process that takes about 30 seconds. It's not something you have to worry about an awful lot, but there are a few scenarios where calibrating the compass on your drone is a really good idea. The first one has to do with location. So let's say you've flown at a location for a while, then you've moved to a second location that's pretty far away. And I don't mean across town, I mean like you've traveled an hour or two to get to that second location. Calibrate your compass. Because remember, the only way this little guy knows where he is in 3D space up there at 200 feet in the air is based on his GPS and GLONASS coordinates, readings from the internal IMU, and his compass heading. So if you get to that second location and he's not sure where True North is, you may tell him to come home and watch him fly that direction into a tree. So if you ever get to a second location and you're unsure about the calibration, do your compass calibration and that way you'll know you're in good shape. The second scenario has to do with an error message you'll get on the application. So if you boot up the application and you see a compass error, don't ignore that error. I mean, you can fly with it, but what the drone is telling you is, hey, Rick, uh, I'm not quite sure where True North is. Maybe it's not a good idea to put me up to 200 feet and send me over that lake because I'm not sure I can find my way home. So if you get that compass error, do the compass calibration. Now, that error typically happens if you boot up the drone near metal. So if you boot it up on a table or you boot it up maybe on concrete with a lot of rebar underneath it, or if you're in an area with a lot of natural magnetic interference, you actually might want to find another location to fly because that can't be good for your health. But if you get the compass error, do the calibration. It eliminates the error. It tells the drone exactly where it's taken off. So it's a really good idea that the drone knows where that home point is because if you have to instigate a return to home or it does it automatically, you want to make sure it comes back and finds that, that launch point. All right, so doing the calibration couldn't be simpler. You basically start at the main screen of the DJI Fly application in the upper right-hand corner. You'll see three dots. Tap those. That'll bring up the main menu. You'll see a heading titled Safety. Hit that. And then down the bottom, you'll see the Calibrate Compass button. Just tap that. And then hit the Start button to begin the compass calibration. Now, when it opens up, you'll see a picture of the drone like this, and it says, rotate the drone 360 degrees horizontally. That's where it gets confusing. Do they mean this way, this way, this way? Which way is horizontal? Well, think about it. This is the horizon, right? That's horizontal. So 360 means you're rotating it this way. So rotate it in a circle this way across its midpoint like that. Now, don't hold it at arm's length like I've seen a lot of people do and rotate it this way. That's going to put you off that pivot point. You want to have the pivot point as still as you can. So rotate it 360 degrees this way, probably two or three times, and then you'll see the application saying, now rotate it 360 degrees vertically. Again, do they mean this way or what? They mean this way. So I would hold both sides of it because I've damaged more gimbals trying to do compass calibrations than I have running into stuff. So make sure you hold onto it firmly. You're going to rotate it this way. And again, two or three rotations is all it takes and you'll see the application come up and say complete. Now, once that's done, you have a real good feeling that it knows where True North is, and when you send it out there, heaven forbid you have to hit the return to home key, it's gonna come back, it's gonna know exactly where you are, and it's gonna land where it took off. So that's pretty much it for the compass calibration. I hope those two examples were helpful in showing you just how easy it is to calibrate your Mavic Mini. Now, as I mentioned, those aren't things you have to worry about normally, but I can tell you if you've planned a long day of flying and you power up your drone at your first location and an IMU or a compass error pops up, I just don't want you to have to go into a panic trying to figure out exactly how to do the procedures because it could ruin a long day of flying for you. So if you're a new flyer and haven't really had a lot of experience with drones, take some time and practice those two procedures at home just so you know how to do them. And when you're out in the field, if one of those error messages pop up, you can easily take Take care of it and get your drone back up in the air. Now with experienced flyers, I know you guys do these kind of adjustments all the time to your drones, but there are so many new people that are going to be flying the Mavic Mini that I thought this clip would be beneficial. And for me, if I'm traveling a long distance between locations, I definitely want to do a compass recalibration at that secondary location because I want to make sure my drone knows exactly where it's taking off and that it can maintain level flight. So I don't do the IMU that often unless I see an error, but I do that compass calibration if I'm doing a lot of traveling between those locations. Good recommendation to do the same 
same if you're going to be flying the drone. And that's pretty much all I had today. So I hope you find value in these clips. I love putting them together, spending time investigating how to do this stuff so I can explain it to you to make your flying more fun and a little safer. If you have any questions about anything I've covered today, please drop those in the comments below and I promise to get back to you as soon as I can. I've got a ton more clips coming on the Mavic Mini, a bunch of other drones, and a whole lot of other high-tech gear. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that button down there in the corner, turn on the bell because we've got a lot of cool stuff coming you're not going to want to miss. If you need to buy accessories for the Mavic Mini, I have a link below to our website as well. We have a lot of different accessories that will enhance your flying experience. So if you want to support the channel, hit that link and you can buy them from us. We ship every day. We ship for free. We'll get it to you faster than Amazon. So thanks an awful lot for watching. And until next time, happy flying.